A son of Detroit heads home from the Big Apple this week to bask in his recent success as a designer. Seti Johnson designed locally for decades, but moved to get closer to the fashion action 10 years ago. Well, now he's received the invitation of a lifetime, a show during Fashion Week in Paris in winter of 2022. Holotov enjoys us live with how he's coming home to find some inspiration. Ah, oh, this is a great story, Paula. Hey, Karen. Yeah, you know what? It really is. So first of all, here's a first. We're going live from my upstairs closet, and I'm multitasking because honestly, much of the day I've been going through closets looking for the gown that Seti Johnson and his friend Mark English actually designed for me for one of the charity auto preview shows. And so here's the thing. It was a size six. I'm never going to be a size six again. Just forget about it. But based on his trajectory, this thing's going to be a collector's item. The self-taught designer is on the edge of the big time and he is loving every stitch of it. It was amazing. It was like, okay, we want to show what you do at the, the Super Bowl of fashion, like, and that's Paris. Seti Johnson was born and raised in Detroit and fell in love with fashion at a young age. And my mom is the old Southern belle from Birmingham, Alabama, and she got dressed every day. And uh, <laughs> so I was always uh, just in awe of how she looked. He started sewing outfits for his mother and her church friends. He loves the figures of all women, but his favorite canvas is the big reveal is the woman with curves. <laughs> I started testing my skills on on family members and real women that have real sizes. He is designed for Detroit royalty. My first celebrity client was B.B. Winans. And then there was Anita Baker. He moved from Detroit 10 years ago to soak up some New York vibe. He went to Paris for the first time ever, February of 2020, days before the pandemic started its rolling shutdown of the world. He got out by the skin of his chinny chin chin, but not without first leaving his mark on a few producers. I conveniently had a model that went to Paris with me and she met me there from New York. And um, of course I dressed her every day to the nines. And then it happened. He got the call up to the majors, an invite to show at Fashion Week in Paris in 2022. And so now he is hurriedly working on a 15 piece collection for his own label, the SETI Collection. And yes, he's insisting that some of his models be curvy to wow the whole the body of a woman is very shapely and it's almost like the more curves i have the more i can express myself creatively and and it and it and it and it just works like uh, a curvy woman whatever she puts on it's going to speak a little bit louder you know, I like the way he thinks on that one. I really do. So like a salmon swimming upstream, returning to the place of its birth, said he's actually going to be back in Detroit this week, meeting old friends, but also seeking inspiration for his brand new collection that makes its great big debut in Paris. Karen. Oh my goodness. Some of those examples that you showed of his work are out of this world. He's going to be amazing in Paris. I know. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so proud of him and so pleased for him. What a great, great story. Thank you, Paul. I need to find that dress, too. You really do need well, to find, find that one. Dress. Keep yeah, looking. Do, right? All right. <laughs> Thank you.